Open Sourced Workplace presents Understanding the Intelligent Office, a CRE Guide to IoT in the Workplace, written by Dusty Doistermars, read by Alec Dinkoff. For many, particularly millennials, the smart home experience elevates their workplace expectations. The talent organizations seek to attract and retain sees a truly connected, automated, and interactive work experience as the standard, and they want it. Employers, for their part, need to better connect with their employees, remote employees included, drive productivity and increase satisfaction. Organizations with a sophisticated smart office program may realize operational benefits as well in areas such as energy savings and building maintenance. You may have read about the EDGE in Amsterdam, purportedly the world's most connected building, integrating numerous smart technologies to create adaptable and intelligent workspaces. It stands as the ideal. The reality, however, is that most workplaces lag far behind. Organizations are just now asking, where do I begin? The market is flooded with buzzwords like IoT, sensors, and live utilization. But there's little context provided about how these technologies fit into a larger ecosystem or how to build a business case for them. First, a few relevant statistics to keep in mind as you read and begin thinking about that business case. 90% of our lives are spent indoors. Over 75% of people work in a commercial facility, over half in an office setting. Roughly 50% of assigned offices are underutilized. 50% of seats in meeting rooms for 8 plus go unused. Up to 40% of scheduled meetings are no-show slash ghost meetings. Over 30% of meetings are impromptu. Approximately 30 minutes per week per employee are spent trying to locate available meeting rooms. Approximately 40 minutes per week per employee are spent in corporate cafeteria wait lines. The status quo. The current workplace status quo features little in the way of CRE and FM technology. Generally, that technology is limited to AutoCAD, with employee locations and estimated headcounts tracked on PDF drawings or Excel spreadsheets. There is little to no point-in-time utilization data, thwarting any occupancy planning efforts and certainly no IoT slash connected devices or applications. The employee experience suffers as well, as they typically book conference rooms on a static platform, such as Outlook. Moreover, there's virtually no integrated visibility into building operation and mechanical systems. BMS is siloed, offering very little in the way of actionable insights, data that could lead to higher facility efficiencies, increased employee productivity, or opportunity cost savings. A lack of visualization capabilities also forces facility managers into a perpetually reactive position. Moving to WP 2.0, the connected office. A connected office features a space management point solution, or an IWMS as baseline CRE and FM technology. Additionally, employees access an integrated reservation system through a mobile app, allowing them to see room locations and features and to know the availability of each room at a given time. These mobile-enabled reservation apps, along with a companion tablet conference room displays, are today's most in-demand smart office technologies. A number of these apps also include some basic level of service request functionality, including QR code scanning to report lighting outages, hand towel, and printer slash toner refill requests, etc. Though at this stage, there are no IoT slash connected devices or applications, e.g. furniture sensors, lighting beacons, we are presuming that facility managers are collecting space utilization data through existing door access badges, which will include employee departmental allocations, enabling more advanced workplace management and ultimately driving better occupancy planning decisions. Facilities or human resources managers might also consider collecting more advanced RFID and voice detection slash social sensing badge data if additional workplace behavioral patterns are so desired. Another, more advanced possibility includes pairing badge data with CCTV, which not only provides traffic counts, but is also capable of collecting data on the demographics, male slash female, approximate age, and even the mood or emotion of both employees and visitors, all in the context of enabling better insight. The same resource reservation technologies can be applied to virtually any resource, perhaps a portable media cart, an elliptical machine, meditation room, a huddle space, or a desk. The data collected on utilization, for example, may show that the sales team doesn't require offices or desks on a full-time basis due to their travel schedules. That office or desk can be allocated more efficiently, perhaps through hoteling, 
freeing underutilized space for expansion. Taking a deeper dive, the employee resource search data will also convey user preferences and or peak utilization trends based on time of day, location, amenities, or available technologies in the room. This type of data is incredibly valuable when considering space alterations or redesigns. At this level, the sole focus is on what's happening in the workplace. BMS is still siloed, and capabilities such as utilization-based temperature and lighting control are still an aspiration. Most organizations need to be at this connected office stage now, or at least set it as their new starting point. Though the connected office is a significant incremental step up from the current status quo, static and siloed CRE and FM technologies and reactive workplace management, a large percentage of the data in the facility sits unused, often leading to risky occupancy planning decisions. Also, unused is a treasure trove of data accessible through more advanced workplace IoT technology and tools. Moving to WP 3.0, the smart office. It's at the next level, the smart office stage, where the true promise of IoT to improve data quality, generate a higher level of actionable insight, and enhance the employee experience emerges. In a smart office, organizations add lighting beacons and or furniture sensors. A smart desk, for example, equipped with an embedded sensor can recognize an employee's cell phone via mobile app and allow users to load their sit slash stand preferences, ultimately tracking desk level utilization. IT network detection can also be used to track utilization, but has some limitations. The addition of lighting beacons will enable wayfinding and allow employees to pinpoint individuals' locations in an open office. Although HR departments typically offer this as optional or opt-in only, presence detection capability is considered critical, given that the number one complaint in free address environments is the inability to locate team members. It's important to say here that the business rationale for the smart office's higher-level IoT infrastructure is not its ability to track employees. Instead, the business case is grounded in improving the employee experience and their productivity, making resources, desks, offices, conference rooms, etc. available and reservable through sensor validation. In just one specific example, perhaps obscure but costly in terms of employee productivity and satisfaction, mobile-enabled queue management technology has proven to virtually eliminate employee cafeteria wait times. Think that's not important? Statistics show that employees at organizations with cafeterias spend up to 40 minutes per week per employee waiting in line. Multiply that over hundreds of employees. The bottom line is that advanced, integrated, smart office IoT technologies and tools facilitate forward thinking, proactive workplace management, and strategic occupancy planning. Trends are improving customer slash employee facing areas, like those discussed above and feeding functional areas throughout the organization, including preventative maintenance, visitor management, and mailroom management. At this smart office stage, organizations are not yet tightly focused on core building operational systems. Facility managers are still likely operating building management systems, like lighting and HVAC in a siloed fashion. And while organizations progressing from the connected to smart office phase are certainly more proactive in their planning and decision making, and while their employees' experience is improving dramatically, the third phase, the intelligent office, introduces next-level automation, integration, and intelligence into the workplace. Moving to cognition, the intelligent office. It's in the intelligent office where IoT in the workplace truly takes root, integrating core operational systems and building management systems, BMS, into an organization's smart office strategy. In connected and smart offices, BMS systems were still siloed. However, in this third phase, an intelligent building platform, IBP, integrates multiple systems and data sources with read-write functionality, HVAC, lighting, electrical, solar, weather station, utility meters, fire life safety, elevators, badge, CCTV, smart furniture or other occupancy sensors, copiers slash printers, windows slash shades, rack management, kitchen appliances, resource scheduler, and more can be connected to the IBP hub. These integrated command and control centers can also extend functionality to a mobile device, enabling tenants to adjust things like temperature and lighting. But perhaps the system's most valuable feature is its ability to conduct automated protocols based on the data it receives. In the intelligent office, the IoT is managing energy. For instance, 
if no sensor activity is detected on a floor of a building over the past two hours, or if the level of sensor activity doesn't meet a predetermined threshold. There's no reason to maintain a temperature of 72 degrees or to keep all the lights on. Instead, the IBP automatically directs heating slash cooling and electrical power to areas with activity. In a more sophisticated temperature-related example, the IBP utilizes sensors to detect how many people are occupying an open plan space. Each occupant, using a mobile app, is able to provide real-time feedback regarding the space's temperature, whether it's too warm or too cool. The IBP monitors that feedback and if predefined threshold is met, say 25% of occupants at one point agree that the space is too cool, it executes a protocol to adjust the temperature or air handling units accordingly. No work order or human intervention is needed. Integration yields actionable insights, which drive an automated response. The same principle applies to equipment maintenance. The IBP provides facility managers, FM, with advanced visibility into equipment performance. Through those insights, FMs can predict and prevent equipment failure, often through automation protocols based on constant readings slash performance data. Building automation capabilities have never been more sophisticated. Most IBPs are capable of some level of machine learning on a standalone basis. Others may require integration to a third-party application, like IBM Watson, for additional levels of insight. A Structured Approach to Digital Workplace Transformation In this Insight article, We've limited our analysis of workplace technologies to the CRE and FM world. Of course, countless other emerging connected technologies, from interactive whiteboards to AI-enabled virtual assistants, continue to fundamentally transform the way we work. The workplace evolution will continue at a pace and scale virtually impossible to predict. Without a systematic, incremental, and programmed approach to their own workplace evolution, organizations run the risk of chasing the latest technology for technology's sake ending up with an ad hoc collection of poorly utilized, non-integrated, and perhaps superfluous tools and technologies. What we've begun to do in this blog series is provide CRE and FM with program standards, definitions, and frameworks that can form the foundation of a digital workplace transformation strategy moving forward. Thank you for listening to the open-sourced workplace presentation of Understanding the Intelligent Office, a CRE Guide to IoT in the Workplace. Written by Dusty Doistermars. Read by Alec Dinkoff. If you enjoyed this presentation, please like and share on your social media outlets. To receive further updates from Open Sourced Workplace, please subscribe to Open Sourced Workplace. Be sure to check out the links provided below.